Hello, my name is Ed McGar. I am the candidate for the uh, House of Representatives in District 58. District 58 is comprised of all of Linden, the northeast third of Orem, and one small precinct down in the uh, southeastern corner of Pleasant Grove. Let me uh, tell you a little bit about myself. First of all, I moved uh, to Utah from New York approximately 13 years ago. I was brought out here with uh, WordPerfect Corporation, moved my family out here. It was probably one of the last places in the world we wanted to move, and now you couldn't drag us away. We absolutely love it here. Uh, I have four teenage children, and uh, we absolutely love it. I've been a resident of Linden and uh, totally enjoy uh, living in Utah. As far as, um, as far as running for office and why I want to run for office, I, um, I really didn't know much or care much about politics uh, growing up. And I must say I've been a, a lifelong Republican and always voted the, the party platform. And um, it hasn't been until the last several years that I started to, uh, to look at um, what our politicians and, and the direction our country is going. Started to study uh, our founding fathers and the system of government that they bequeathed to us. And I've really noticed that we have strayed very, very far from the Republican, uh, small r, Republican form of government that we are really supposed to be practicing here. I have uh, switched parties, so I'm running under the Constitution Party platform. And I'm not here today to, uh, uh, to uh, gain converts to the Constitution Party, but I'm here to let you know why I feel that I'm a very valid, uh, viable candidate for you to vote for in District 58. I honestly feel that having an R next to your name shouldn't necessarily uh, be a, a carte blanche entitlement to a seat in the House of Representatives. Uh, I think that the man should make the R, and the R shouldn't make the man, or the C in my case. And I'd, I'd like to, uh, to encourage people to not necessarily just vote for a party, but to study the issues, to study the individuals, and to, uh, to seek out people who will represent your viewpoints and your, your principles and your morals. Um, as a member of the Constitution Party, um, I feel that my, um, my platform and what I stand for are very traditional, American, conservative, small government, government closest to home principles, uh, moral principles. And I think that that's something that we need to bring into government. I think one of, the, uh, one of the statements that I really can't stand to hear is that the two things we should never talk about are politics and religion. I think we probably need to talk about those two, two things more than ever these days. Um, oftentimes you might think, gee, a third party candidate, you know what, they're not electable. And oftentimes they're, they're kind of fringe and maybe strange even. I'd like to let you know, and, and they're not serious candidates. They're just running to get their name on the ballot. I want you to know that in this case, that is absolutely not true. I am uh, putting my heart and soul into this campaign. I've, uh, I've had a valid, uh, viable, good business career. I've proven myself in business. I'm fiscally conservative. I, uh, I stand for good principles, and I want to be able to bring that to the state legislature and represent uh, strongly uh, the, the issues and needs in District 58. If you consider yourself con conservative and, and appreciate a smaller government, lower taxes, traditional values and principles that uh, characterize a Republican form of government, then I want you to vote for me. If you want someone who supports parental choice in education, doesn't have business or union connections that would create ethical concerns and conflicts of interest, you can vote for me. If you want someone who will protect state rights and will uh, support and remove federal intrusion on our education system and other areas of our governance, vote for me. If you want someone who knows that the basic principles of competition and local control in education will yield lower cost and better results for our students, you vote for me. If you want someone who values, prop uh, who values a properly controlled and welcoming legal immigration policy while supporting the enforcement of the rule of law relative to illegal immigration, you vote for me. If you want a fiscal conservative in office concerned with keeping as much of your hard-earned dollars in your pocket, uh, you vote for me. Speaking of finance, if you want a candidate who doesn't have $130 worth of federal tax liens against him and who isn't beholden to the local school districts and unions because of business relationships, you vote for me. Please visit my website at www.mcgar2006.com. Please learn more and please vote. Thank you very much.